Merry Christmas, one and all. Well, did y'all get the... <laughs> Did y'all get your Christmas present from the government this year? Yeah. Enhanced uh, security measures because some idiot decides he's going to try to blow up a damn uh, airline that's going into, what was it, Detroit? I mean, he gets on an airplane overseas Overseas ain't going to do nothing about their security measures. But yet the United States is going to up theirs. And we can't stop five t uh, supposed terrorist wannabes from going over to Pakistan. Now, this is friggin' crazy. But anyways... Uh... For all you people out there that want our military to come home and everything, I mean, I'm right along with you. I'd like to see them back here in the damn states, too. But uh, right now, I really don't see it happening. I don't care if we are withdrawn from Iraq. All he's doing is withdrawing from Iraq and sending them over to Afghanistan. And have you heard the latest? Oh, now we have permission for our armed forces to go fighting in Pakistan. So now we got a forefront war going on. We got the Air Force bombing over in Yemen. We got the armed forces facing going to Pakistan. We got the armed forces in Iraq, and now we got and we got them in Afghanistan. We got a forefront war going on. Uh, the government has promised to give money to, uh, I don't know who the hell we're giving that money to, but for global warming or climate change, they're calling it now. Global climate change. We're supposed to be sending money to help uh, the poor countries of the world. And uh, India and China's pissed off over the, uh, the language being used. Um... But anyways, um, <laughs> damn. And I got and another thing. You know, all you people out there with the militias and stuff uh, and everything. Um, Y'all probably ain't doing too much, but the, but the government's keeping an eye on you. I'm sure of that. But you know what? Since when has this government ever let a uh, security force, supposed security force, get so large that it almost, if not, it does equal the the military strength of our country. I mean, XE, formerly known as Blackwater, has four military bases, or not military bases, but four training bases, two here, uh, let's see, what was it? Two here in the United States, one in the Philippines, Actually, I think there's three in the United States and one in the Philippines. But uh, anyway, since when has our federal government ever allowed a security force to get as big as our military and not do a damn thing about it? I mean, here, here we go down to Waco, Texas, and we, we invade David Koresh's compound under the guise of having military uh, aspirations or uh, uh, not military aspirations but uh, military style weapons and stuff against the uh, oh hell what the hell would you call it um, well I don't know but anyways um he had a stockpile of, of weapons and ammunition and stuff. 
And there was no, as far as nobody said anything about him doing any military style training or anything or all he was was a Jesus freak. He thought he was Jesus or the son of God or a prophet of God or something. <laughs> of course, it was pointed out, too, if he was such an, if he was the right hand of God, why was he wearing glasses? But anyways, that's an old joke. Um. Okay, there you got David Koresh down in Waco. You got Ruby Ridge, which was one man. They wipe out his family. You've got the military militia, military style militia up there in Michigan they're keeping an eye on. You know, uh, dang skinheads get out of line. They're, they're jumping right down on their asses. Neo Nazis start to get out of line. They want to jump on them, but yet they let a dang fully militarized security force like Blackwater and and I don't know who all else is in this country. I haven't looked it up, and, and frankly, I don't give a shit because, uh, anyways. So why don't y'all just stop and think about what the hell the government's letting going on right now? We're going to stretch our damn military out to a forefront, a forefront war. Well, if you want to even call it a war. And, and, but yet we have uh, Blackwater here in the United States. And a battalion in, stationed in Colorado that's supposed to be, what is it, Americon? And uh, AmeriCorp, oh, not AmeriCorp, that's that damn voluntary organization for civilian uh, military. But anyways, it's crazy. So I just thought I'd point that stuff out to you right now and let y'all think about it. We have a, a security force in the United States that is... Uh, who is just as big and powerful as our own military? We're, we've just started a forefront uh, uh, police action or war or whatever you the hell you want to call it. And uh, then we're going to open up bases down in Columbia. I mean, so uh, y'all just stop and think about it. That's about all I got for right now.